नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फिफ्टी थर्ड एम सी क्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू टू ऑब्जर्वर्स ए एंड बी द एंगुलर मोमेंट ऑफ अ पार्टिकल बोइंग विथ अ कॉन्स्टेंट वेलॉसिटी आर एल बार एंड निगेटेड एल बार रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड इट इज नॉट अ नल वैक्टर द एंगुलर मोमेंट The position of the particle with respect to the observers A and B are R A bar and R B bar respectively. Which of the following statements is true? R A bar plus R B bar is parallel to the path of the particle. The observers are necessarily static. That means uh, their they, their velocity is zero. Two R A bar plus R B bar is parallel to the path of the particle. So notice the two here. That that what makes this option different from the first. and the last one is r a bar is not on the plane of r b bar and the path of the particle to begin with to begin with let us recall the definition of angular momentum of a particle okay so what is it l bar definition is r bar cross p bar correct where p bar is the momentum of the particle in this case uh, we have this option to which says the observers are necessarily static so let us relax that uh, condition okay and see uh, whether we still uh, whether we can still frame a situation where all the given requirements are met so option b will automatically be gone okay so suppose uh, we take va bar and vb bar to be absolute velocities not relative okay absolute velocities of a and b okay and uh, they are saying that particle is moving with a constant velocity so let us say v bar is the absolute velocity of the particle okay now let us use the angular momentum uh, information now with respect to a with respect to observer a the particle's angular momentum is l bar so we will start with that l bar is and they also say that the position of the particle with respect to observer a is r a bar so by definition it will be r a bar cross uh now we know also know that momentum is mass into velocity but this time this velocity must be the relative velocity of the particle with respect to observer correct so it will be m into uh, v bar minus v a bar okay this is angular momentum of the particle with respect to observer a similarly we can say negative to l bar is equal to r b bar r b bar cross m into v bar minus v b bar clear so we have we have not done much uh, yet we, uh, we have just written down the information in the problem and we have just made one change we have relaxed the condition that the observers must be static by introducing the uh, velocities of observers a and b now what we are going to do is we are going to multiply this equation by 2 okay okay i'm not writing into 2 because we are using the cross product here so 2 l bar to l bar and we also have this negative to l bar already okay so what will i get now i will get m common r a bar oh sorry 2 r a bar okay let's not forget that it's 2 r a bar 2 r a bar cross v bar minus v a bar plus r b bar cross v bar minus v b bar okay and this is equal to null vector because 2l bar minus 2l bar has to be null vector okay now we can drop m we can forget m now right because uh, this term is not a null vector because of m next let let v a bar be equal to v b bar so we are still saying that the observers are moving with respect to some frame of reference but they are not moving relatively but that doesn't make them necessarily static the observers are moving with respect to some frame of reference okay so va bar is equal to vb bar that is what we are saying 
okay therefore v bar minus v a bar is equal to v bar minus v p bar obviously okay because v bar is not going to change the the particle is moving at uniform velocity and then v a bar minus v b bar uh, both of them will be same okay we have assumed it therefore we can now take that part common we can use the properties of cross product now so we can take 2 r a bar plus r v bar cross v bar minus v a bar equal to a null vector correct so we have reached till this without uh, well without arriving at any conclusion yet okay but our focus or our emphasis is in particular on uh, relaxing option b but we also now get to see that 2 ra bar plus ra b bar is appearing here okay so that might give us some hints now suppose suppose uh, v a bar is along v bar or is parallel to v bar so we are saying let the observers move in the same direction as that of the particle okay so so observers are still moving okay suppose v a bar is parallel to v bar now can i now conclude that therefore v bar minus v a bar v bar minus v a bar must be lambda v bar or some scalar lambda yes okay so what does that mean that means we can now write 2 r a bar plus r v bar cross lambda v bar must be a null vector okay and let's also write lambda not equal to 0 what does that mean that means 2 r a bar plus r v bar okay 2 r a bar plus r v bar cross v bar equal to 0 for the null vector therefore 2 r a bar plus r v bar must be must be parallel to v bar we know that okay cross product of two collinear vectors or two parallel vectors is always a null vector so this basically gets rid of this basically gets rid of uh, option b it also gets rid of option a r a bar plus r v bar is parallel to the path of the particle and it is now we have now reached a conclusion that option c might be right might be okay but we are yet to uh, arrive at a conclusion regarding option d's validity r a bar is not on the plane of r b bar and the path of the particle so let us not try to argue about this we know that for any cross product okay let's start with r bar equal to uh, l bar is equal to r bar cross b bar again or r bar cross m v bar for any cross product the cross product is always going to be perpendicular to the individual vectors the position vector and the velocity vector we know that correct yes now when when we wrote this when we wrote this uh, l bar and negative to l bar we have to agree now that angular momentum l bar okay let me let me paste this again here okay now see uh, l bar is perpendicular to r bar and v bar which means in this case we must say that l bar must be perpendicular to the plane spanned by spanned by r a bar and v bar minus v a bar correct well because r a bar and v bar minus v a bar they span a they span a plane right you know that any two non collinear vectors they will always span a plane okay and at the same time see now negative to is not going to make much difference it uh, all it uh, changes is the direction of l bar okay but we know that we can have two di directions perpendicular to a plane okay for example if you take xy plane then k cap and negative k cap will be two uh, perpendicular directions okay but they are still along the same line which means we can also say that l bar will be perpendicular to the plane spanned by r b bar and v bar minus v b bar 
okay but what have we said earlier we have said earlier that v bar minus v a bar is essentially the same as v bar minus v b bar correct we actually <laughs> that that change is synthetic but nonetheless that is actually giving us uh, or taking us to a conclusion where we can actually discard option d as well right what we have said is suppose velocities are same hmm suppose the velocities of the observers are same with respect to the frame of reference and and suppose th their velocities are parallel to v bar we are not saying they are equal to v bar okay otherwise the momentum will be zero okay because there will not be any relative motion between the observer and the uh, observer and the object okay so v bar is parallel to v bar which means v a bar minus v a bar and v bar minus v bar they are essentially the same vectors that means it means the plane which is spanned by r a bar and this must be the same as the plane which is spanned by r b bar and that yes therefore r a bar r b bar and v bar they are coplanar okay please understand that the, 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 because of the two things that we have brought in v a bar equal to v bar that's the first and the second thing is both of them are actually collinear with v bar so we can write them as scalar multiples of v bar correct so r a bar r b bar and v bar are coplanar now which also leaves out option d okay it has to be coplanar with r b bar and the path of the particle see because uh, what is path of the particle if it is moving with a constant velocity constant velocity is only there in rectilinear motion because you don't want to change the direction of velocity so it has to be along a line and because uh, constant velocity so speed will also be the same which means the path of the particle and the direction of its velocity will be the same and therefore option d is also not right okay r a bar is on the plane of r b bar and the path of the particle so it has to be option c that is correct okay all right so 53 option c what we have done basically here is we actually did relax option b first okay the the condition or the constraint in option b necessarily static but we again brought in some changes which le uh, which led us to the rejections of options uh, option a first and uh, well option c was still in the contention but finally when we disproved the validity of option d for us for our uh, simplified version what was left was option uh, c okay the third option and the thing is we have not uh, I will, okay let me put it in this way we have not changed anything that is given in the problem so the constraints or the conditions which were there in the original problem they are still applicable to our case and because our case leads to rejections of three of the four options has to be true for the uh, more general case